Like it or not, AI tools have completely changed the way we work. ChatGPT reached 100 million monthly users faster than any other software application in history. And companies are investing billions and billions into adopting AI technologies to save time, save money, and boost efficiency. Now, while lots of people are worried that AI will take our jobs by automating tasks, Generative AI can also help us to find more time to do meaningful work and improve our own performance and productivity. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk through how I've been using AI tools to reduce my own cognitive load and free my brain up for more meaningful work and learning faster than ever before. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump in and look at exactly how AI tools can reduce our cognitive load effectively. Okay, so we all have a limited cognitive information processing capacity with the amount of information our working memory can process at any given time being pretty small in comparison to the high velocity inflow of digital information and always on communication that we receive on an almost daily basis. For me, the key is to use tools like ChatGPT to manage that flood of information that we're exposed to every single day. Now, there are three specific types of cognitive load. There's intrinsic cognitive load, which is all about the complexity of new information. We want information to be as simple as possible to reduce that cognitive load. Then we've got extraneous cognitive load, which is all that unnecessary or distracting information, which we want to try and minimize. Things like notifications and social media. And finally, there's germane cognitive load, which refers to how that new information is organized and linked to things that we already know. Now, 68% of workers in a recent Microsoft survey indicated that they didn't have sufficient uninterrupted time to focus on their core activities during their workday. The share of working hours was taken up by emails, electronic meetings, text messages, and search for and review of digital content, and that's all increasing even more. And this is where tools like ChatGPT can really help us if they're used correctly. In particular, generative AI can be useful in three major ways. Firstly, reducing our cognitive load by automating structured tasks. Secondly, by boosting our cognitive capacity for unstructured tasks. And thirdly, by improving our own learning processes. So let's look at each of these in turn. So starting with reducing our cognitive load with AI, Generative tools can enhance performance and productivity by freeing up our mental capacity to focus on higher value unstructured tasks. Now, unstructured tasks are those that are less well-defined and typically require things like soft skills and creativity, such as resolving conflict in work, negotiating a sales deal, or spending time developing our own skills. Now, we can do this by offloading structured and repetitive elements of work to generative AI tools. In addition to reducing our cognitive load, this can also make the work we're doing seem much more interesting by removing some of that drudgery and repetitive tasks that are involved. Structured tasks are anything that has a defined input, process, and output, and are typically technical tasks that a computer could do, like sending an email or summarizing information into a spreadsheet. Generative AI is already showing benefits in reducing cognitive load across a wide range of industries, and I wanted to break down a couple of examples to get you thinking. First up, Lawyers can now use tools to efficiently locate and access case law and draft simple contracts, allowing them more time to analyze complex legal issues and advise their clients. In sectors like marketing and advertising, generative AI can automate routine content generation, such as creating product brochures or personalizing email campaigns. In fact, a recent BCG study of chief marketing officers found that about two thirds of respondents were investigating generative AI for things like personalization and half of those surveys are exploring it for content generation itself. And in more regulated industries like finance, even banks are applying generative AI to reduce cognitive load from that constant inflow of financial market information. The AI can quickly analyze and summarize things like annual reports, earning call transcripts, and analyst reports to keep the bank's relationship managers better informed about important developments. By streamlining that information search and review process, bank managers have much more time to focus and serve their clients. Now, as all of these cases demonstrate, delegating some of those structured tasks to generative AI tools can help us to relieve the stress of cognitive overload so that we can focus more of our time on more important tasks. Boring, repetitive tasks can be done much faster and possibly better in some cases by a computer or an AI algorithm, while we can then focus on improving our own performance on those more creative tasks that remain. 
For me personally, my team and I have been using AI creativity tools like Opus Clip and Adobe Firefly to save time when it comes to editing video content and creating images for marketing campaigns. We've also been using tools like Lemlist to generate outbound marketing campaigns with email personalization at scale in the fraction of the time it would take a human to do so. So again, all of these pretty monotonous tasks, which previously we might either outsource at financial cost or do internally at the cost of time and effort, can be significantly reduced. Now, next up, I wanna focus on boosting cognitive capabilities. And another approach to augmenting knowledge work is to use Gen AI tools to boost higher order cognitive processes to perform unstructured tasks themselves. And there are three important areas that can be focused on here, including critical thinking, creativity, and knowledge sharing. For critical thinking, generative AI can help us to ask better questions about the challenges we face. In a study in an executive education setting, researchers found that 94% of the time engaging with an AI like ChatGPT led to asking a wider range and variety of questions than the respondents would otherwise do. This in turn led to exploring ideas and possible solutions that they may not have considered, likely leading to better performance. Another study found that ChatGPT was particularly useful in the idea generation and communication phases of strategy processes. The AI tools created plausible strategic ideas with high efficiency. ChatGPT's storytelling capability was particularly useful in helping to articulate and and communicate complex ideas. On the other hand, ChatGPT was less helpful in suggesting ways to implement the strategy itself, possibly due to the tool's lack of access to detailed information about the companies involved, its capabilities, and other relevant contextual information in the study. Now, University of Missouri professor Tojin T. Epen and colleagues detailed how generative AI can promote divergent thinking by making connections among diverse concepts where humans might not be able to. Gen AI insisted not only in developing new ideas, but also in evaluating and refining them based on criteria such as feasibility, impact, cost, and novelty. In a separate survey of more than a thousand content creators, two thirds of respondents indicated that they use the tools for creativity tasks. 53% said that using the tools enhanced their creativity and productivity. And furthermore, those who had the tools had a much higher number of followers and generated higher income. Beyond generating knowledge, Generative AI can also help to share it. Intellectual assets are dispersed across organizations in a wide variety of documents, policies, processes, and other formats, making it difficult for people to access knowledge that already exists in the organization. By leveraging generative AI through chatbots, companies can bridge that knowledge gap, facilitating knowledge sharing and empower knowledge workers with know-how that they need to excel at their jobs. For example, to assist its wealth management advisors, Morgan Stanley implemented ChatGPT and GPT training on a vast variety of internal captured knowledge and expertise. They were then able to make their wealth management team much more knowledgeable and give them access to every document at the touch of a button to help empower them and address their clients' specific concerns. For me and my team, we've used AI tools to better understand where we can improve our content creation workflows. We use tools like vidIQ, which comes integrated with AI tools, including a coach, and generative AI tools that help us to quickly test titles and graphics at scale. Now, the third way that we can significantly reduce cognitive load with AI tools is all around improving our own learning. Achieving mastery requires practice rather than just theory. However, to be useful, practice requires feedback on performance, and providing that personalized feedback for every student or employee in an organization can be really time-consuming and very expensive. AI tools make it possible to provide a one-to-one -one coach or tutor for absolutely everybody. For students, generative AI can play roles such as an advisor, tutor, coach, and simulator around specific scenarios. It can provide frequent feedback, personalized instructions on demand, and explanations alternative viewpoints and opportunities to practice in a number of different uses from language learning to actually playing out soft skill scenarios. For example, companies like Duolingo and Chicken have recently added role play capabilities, allowing users to practice free flowing conversations around specific educational scenarios together with AI tutor capabilities that provide constructive personal feedback to users upon request. Now, AI's potential role in learning also extends to the work environment. Take, for example, the challenge of becoming a successful sales representative. Gaining skills in this complex, fast-paced environment requires a combination of instruction, practice, immediate feedback, introspection and reflection, and then immersion with sales never really properly taught at school. 
At my companies, sales professionals develop through a mentor listening and advising on sales calls, and then sales reps meet with that mentor and other trainees to discuss and reflect on their experiences before putting it back into practice. Generative AI tools can assist in this process both during training and after. It can monitor a conversation with a customer and suggest what a sales rep can say or do to move that sale conversation forward. Tools can also answer the sales professional's questions later in the role of a coach. In fact, a recent study of a call center introducing generative AI found that this type of support helped to improve productivity and quality for all workers while also increasing employee satisfaction. It also accelerated individual learning by enabling novice workers to progress more rapidly along the experience curve compared to those who did not leverage those same tools. Now this last use case is what I've spent a lot of my time building at my AI and VR company, Verti. The team have built a creation suite that allows anyone to create and edit soft skills training scenarios, such as sales training, and then deploy these on web, mobile, and even in virtual reality. Users can then have realistic conversations under pressure and see their analytics and feedback immediately before putting this feedback into practice in another on-demand soft skills scenario powered by artificial intelligence. Now, if you're interested in how to reduce your cognitive load further, I have a great video comparing active recall and cognitive load for learning, which I'll pop up over here. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful and can think of some ways you can implement some of the learnings into your own practice to reduce your cognitive load in work. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.